Well, we do um, a lot of research in schools. So we, we study schools, we help schools to understand how they need to change by, un by helping them to become clear on what the problems are. Uh, we think it's very important that before you go and reform a school or change a school, that you are clear what the problem is, that you make sure that the remedy matches the problem, which sounds like common sense, but unfortunately that doesn't happen enough. Uh, so, so it's very important to give teachers, principals, a real clear sense of what they need to focus on in order to get better results. Uh, PS12 that I mentioned before, they have a great data person who can give teachers very precise data on each and every one of their students so they know exactly what they need to work on. That's very important uh, if we do want teachers to be more effective at what they do. Uh, the alternative is guesswork, and guesswork doesn't work that well. <laughs> I see lots of examples. Um, you know, I see schools that are using smart boards now very effectively. I, I barely understand how to use them myself still, but I'm impressed But when I see them being used. Um, as a part of instruction uh, because it makes it much more interactive and the kids seem to respond extremely well because uh, you know this is the, they're working with computers and video games all the time. Uh, I was visiting a classroom the other day where a teacher was using video games to teach a uh, history lesson uh, and uh, kids were totally engaged. Uh, there's a math program I, I, I've been working with now called EPG um, and it, uh, it, it allowed the, the software allows, the, can figure out what the student doesn't understand and take them backwards to, 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 so it can figure out what they, what they did learn and then build the foundation back up. And the software is doing that. So the, what it does is it gives the children the ability to have more control over learning, which is, I think, what we really want. So there are a lot of examples of good technology out there. Um, I always say the most important thing is to make sure that teachers are comfortable with using the technology. Uh, in many schools, uh, the children are more comfortable with it than the adults, and that's a problem. Students would rather watch a Big Think video uh, than sit and read a long page of text uh, in a textbook. They have an opportunity to get the information that they wouldn't necessarily otherwise have. We're using the technologies to connect, to learn. Students can participate by using the internet to their advantage.